Welcome to this video on adding and removing headers and footers in Google Docs. Whether you're working on a PC or Mac, or using the Google Docs mobile app on Android or iOS, we've got you covered. Let's start by adding a header or footer to your Google Docs. It's as simple as double-clicking in the margin at the top or bottom of your page. This method will create a default header or footer. However, if you want to add a custom header or footer, you can click on the insert button at the top of the page, move your cursor down over headers and footers, and select header or footer from the extended menu. To remove a header or footer in Google Docs, click on the options button on the far right of the header or footer bar, and from the drop-down menu, select remove header or remove footer, respectively. If you want to change the header and footer margins, start by clicking on format in the top toolbar, then select header and footers from the drop-down menu. Enter your desired values for the header and footer margins next to the header and footer inches from the bottom, and when finished, click the blue apply button at the bottom. Adding footnotes in Google Docs is easy too. Click wherever you want to insert a footnote on your Google Docs, then click insert from the top toolbar, followed by footnote. Alternatively, you can press Ctrl plus Alt plus F on your keyboard. Your footnote will appear on the page where you clicked, and you can type what you want the footnote to reference next to the corresponding number at the bottom of the page. Now, if you're using the Google Docs mobile app on Android or iOS, adding a header or footer is a little different. Press the three dots button in the top right corner, then enable print layout from the drop-down menu. In this mode, you can type in a header or footer by tapping the top or bottom of the page, respectively. You can always delete all of the text from within the header or footer margins, but there is no remove header button on the desktop. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and we hope you found this tutorial helpful. 